Hello everyone. Welcome and welcome back to Sita's Budgeting Journey. I am Sita and on today's video, um, we're going to do things a little different. Basically, I just want to update you because so many of you responded to my community post and have sending have been sending tons of prayers and well wishes for my daughter and myself. So I just want to do a quick update and just let you know where I am with my budgeting now that things have settled down a bit. So my daughter was rushed to the emergency room on Friday, actually exactly one week today. She was placed on a ventilator in ICU because she was suffering from a thyroid storm. So for you, those who don't know, um, thyroid storm is when your levels completely go out of whack because you're not treating, you have a thyroid condition and you're not treating yourself. Or some people actually don't even know they have issues with their thyroid because they don't visit their doctor. But in my daughter's case, it's been a few years since she has been taking care of herself. And unfortunately, she started to have seizures. She started to have, you know, severe vomiting with blood. It was, it was pretty bad. And, um, it was really touch and go for a while, but with a great medical team and with lots and lots of prayers, I truly believe the prayers is what got her here to this point today. Um, she was taken off the ventilator yesterday and she was transferred out of ICU into a regular room. Now, now that she's been transferred, they are working on trying to get her numbers to where they're supposed to be and then addressing other issues that she has. Sadly, uh, I was in the hospital. Her boyfriend was there and her father. We were there Friday till 3, 4 in the morning. Then we were there all day Saturday. I left the hospital Sunday around 5 o'clock. I wasn't feeling well, but I didn't think anything of it. I got home, took a shower, hung out with the kids. My oldest granddaughter had been staying with the grandkids. And I don't know what made me do it, but I had a scratchy throat. I'm slight heady, but I always have a headache, so that that didn't worry me. And I was just feeling off. So I took a COVID test. And guys, it was positive. So um, I was devastated, number one, because I have the kids here and I did not want them to get sick. And number two, I couldn't be at my daughter's side. And at that point, she was still very critical. And, you know, it was more like if she goes home instead of when she goes home. So you guys can imagine how devastated I was not being able to be by her side. But thankfully, between her dad and her boyfriend, both of them stayed by her bedside 24 hours a day. She was never alone. And I was getting updates throughout the day and night. So for that, I am grateful. Guys, look how bad it's been. Look at my nails. I have no nails. But again, when things go bad, when you have a medical emergency with your children, the last thing you think about is your nails, your hair, what you got on, are you matching? You know, so I was lucky that I took a shower every day. And the reason I did that is because of the kids. I, of course, was stripping everything and changing everything, spraying everything with Lysol, wiping everything down with bleach wipes, just to make sure that the kids stay safe. And as of today, uh, the kids are fine. I'm feeling much better, a little fatigue, but I am feeling much better. Um, as for my budgeting journey, things have been kind of all over the place. I pulled money from here, pulled money from there, but I think I'm pretty much on track, especially with food shopping. I was blessed to have some neighbors and actually one of my neighbors and some close friends um, bring bring us food. And um, so I didn't have to cook a couple of days and the kids already had food from the last time I went food shopping. So that was a good thing. So I do have some money left over for my shopping, which more than likely I'll carry some of it, if not all of it into next week, because next week I will have to go food shopping and just get lots of veggies and fruits so I can get my immune system where it needs to be. But when I came home, not knowing I had COVID, Ayana, who's my oldest granddaughter, and Aaliyah were in my room and I took a shower, changed, and got in the bed with them. So it's it's by the grace of God that neither one of them got sick. But we got in the bed and Ayana had, you know, 
we were talking and I started talking about the budgeting and I said, you know what, you want to do some challenges, Ayana? You want to work on your daddy's challenge? So that's what we did. Ayana, and I wish I had captured a moment, but guys, I was just so sick and just not, last thing I want to do was record anything. But she finished the challenge off and um, I think it came out to like $118. So we were able to put up $120 for this one here. And then we decided to do $5 for the wings and we filled one of those in. So that's super exciting. Right now we have $125, $125 going towards this challenge, but this side is complete and I'm excited about that. Another challenge that I was able to stuff was this one here. Um, and this is my self-care challenge. And for those who don't know, <clears throat> this one here, I'm going to actually, once this is completed, I have $10. Once this one is completed, I'm going to take this and put it into my self-care binder. And that's what I've been doing. And now that this one's almost done, we have two more that came with that challenge. And that came from Lisa Grateful Me. Now I could find it. Where is it at? Oh, here we go. So once that one is complete... I'll be moving on to the $10 one. So I'll be saving just a little more for myself and then eventually the $20 one. Um, I haven't really spent much money in my self-care binder. I might have spent a couple of dollars, but I haven't. But I've decided I'm just going to let that grow. When the time comes, I'll have the money to treat myself to something special. Other than that, guys, let me think. I hope you're all doing well and... Um, Everyone is staying healthy out there because, believe it or not, in the ICU, I actually questioned one of the nurses because nobody was wearing a mask. And I did wear a mask the first two days that I was there. But when I questioned the nurse and I asked her, what's the protocol? Because I see that you guys aren't wearing, you know, masks. A lot of the doctors aren't wearing masks. And that was surprising to me. But she said they're treating it as if it were a cold or a flu. So they're not really required to wear a mask unless a patient's family requests that anyone entering the room wears a mask. Again, I didn't think anything of it, so the next day I didn't wear my mask, and that was a big mistake. So I'm just going to take it. It was a sign from God for me to come home. It was a lot that went out on throughout the week that I'm actually glad I didn't have to witness because it did get bad a few times. So um, be safe out there. And if you're going to an area or if you're doing something where there's going to be a lot of people, wear your mask because COVID is definitely still out there. Um, so that's pretty much. Oh, the kids drew. We did stuff our disney box with our last two envelopes that Jaden had pulled and they pulled actually he pulled out him and Aaliyah pulled these two out so this is the one these are the ones that we'll be filling out for this coming paycheck what else do i have oh look what i have let me move this out the way i didn't want to make this video too long so i didn't want to do all this unboxing today but i have three packages to unbox I don't want to show my address, but I'm so excited. This one here is from Baddies in the Bag. This one here is from my friend Rami. And she's Budget Paparazzi on Etsy and on her YouTube channel. And you guys know who this is from. Yes, it's from Erica and her Bling Shop. Making It Bling by Erica. And she's black and blue on YouTube. Um, so I will be unboxing these in the next few days. Honestly, um, as you can probably tell, I'm, I get exhausted really, really quickly. So I'm not going to be on here long. I'm going to close out this video by thanking you all so very much for all your prayers. They are truly appreciated. Please keep them coming. Even though she's out of ICU, she is still in the hospital and they're still trying to figure out exactly what's going on, how much damage actually occurred um to her organs or her body and i'm um, just trying to find a medication that she can go home with eventually and they're talking about maybe having to do some type of physical therapy but we're not sure yet um excuse me that's jaded sorry about that 
so yes please continue with your prayers and um stay safe out there guys stay safe out there because it's it's a lot it's a lot to handle when you're dealing with everyday life and then COVID comes into the picture and it's no fun especially if you have little ones or family members that you want to keep safe and protected all right on that note i am going to end this video thank you all so much for watching thank you for your support um, you know, I, I don't want to say a day when I'll be back because my priority right now is definitely 100% getting myself better and making sure that my daughter is safe and is well enough to be home and out of that hospital. And lastly, of course, is to make sure that the babies remain COVID free and to keep their spirits up because this is a lot for them. So thank you all for watching. We will talk soon.